is your first Alert 5 weather with Mike Daniels. We are live on News 5 in Colorado Springs. That's from the north end of town. It's just plain old cold out there. 23 on the thermometer with the south breeze at 12, though. It feels like 12 degrees out there. In Pueblo, you're seeing sunshine for the first time all day. It's just too late in the day to warm you up at all. With the wind chill right now, it feels like 19 degrees. Here's how the weekend shakes out. It'll be cooler on Saturday, but nice day on Sunday. Increasing clouds during the afternoon with a high of 52 degrees in Pueblo. Saturday, not bad, especially compared to the past few days, but Sunday really cranks it up a notch or two. 58 degrees, sunshine giving way to some clouds pushing in during the afternoon hours. Enjoy that weekend while you can. Big changes again rolling in next week. I think by Sunday afternoon and Sunday night we'll see some pretty good snow along and east of the Continental Divide and then that snow is going to eventually push off the mountains across the I-25 corridor. Just giving you the first alert, you could have an icy commute Monday morning here up and down I-25, especially across portions of the Pikes Peak region. That snow is going to stick with us through the afternoon into the nighttime hours. This model is starting to wrap that stuff up by Tuesday morning. And believe me, it's really early to talk snow totals, but some of the models kicking out some pretty impressive Impressive snow totals by Tuesday afternoon, six, seven inches of snow across parts of the Pikes Peak region, up to four and a half, five in Pueblo, and more snow still for the wet mountains in Sangre de Cristos. Now around here tomorrow, most of us start with clouds. In fact, by midnight tonight, I think we'll see those low clouds again across Colorado Springs and Pueblo due to that upslope flow. By eight o'clock, nine o'clock tomorrow morning, the springs and the sunshine, but Pueblo still holding on to those low clouds. Those clouds will eventually burn off, and as that westerly downslope flow kicks in, it's going to be awfully nice. Tomorrow of course, Valentine's Day. If you're out at 7 o'clock, maybe taking in dinner or a movie. Temperatures will be into the 40s and we will have dry skies all across the News 5 viewing area. Outside right now, it's warmer in West Cliff than it is here along the I-25 corridor. We're up and down the I-25 with temperatures into the 20s. Low temperatures tonight, quite cold again. Once those clouds come in, low temperatures will certainly stop their drop. We'll end up at 12 degrees in both Colorado Springs and Pueblo. Stay close to the furnace across northern and eastern El Paso County. Many areas dropping down into the single digits tonight. Briargate at 9, Black Forest, an overnight low temperature of 8 degrees. Tomorrow, finally some warmth in your forecast. I've waited all week to say that. 50s return here across the News 5 viewing area. Not much of a wind tomorrow. A little breeze out of the west during the afternoon, 5 to occasionally 10 miles per hour. A little setback on Saturday. That's still pretty tame compared to what could happen this time of the year. We'll warm you right back up into those fabulous 50s on Sunday. Weather alert days Monday and Tuesday for that next incoming storm system and look how cold again next week Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon high temperatures only into the 20s and in Pueblo quite a variety show temperature wise over the next seven days 20s 30s 40s and 50s all squeezed into a one week period it's going to be a nice weekend especially on Sunday weather alert days Monday and Tuesday snow and cold air again by Tuesday an afternoon high temperature of only 28 degrees and for Canyon City you'll have a mild weekend Sunday the best day of that weekend here comes the snow and the cold air again Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday's high well below the freezing mark and for Woodland Park. Afternoon high temperatures fall back into the teens and 20s early next week. More snow on the way 